Hi, I am Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know, an opportunity for us to hear what God is saying to us today. Mark chapter 11, verse 1. As Jesus and his disciples approached Jerusalem, they came to the towns of Bethphage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of them on ahead. Jesus lived most of his life in the Galilee region, which was about a four-day journey north of Jerusalem. Nevertheless, he paid many visits to Jerusalem and had some good friends in the area. His particular friends were Mary, Martha and Lazarus, who lived in Bethany, just outside the city. Clearly, in one of his visits there, he'd prepared the ground for his final triumphal entry into Jerusalem. So he was able to send two of his disciples on ahead to get a donkey with the instruction that, if the owner asked why they were taking it, they were to say that the master needed it and would return it soon. Jesus had prepared the way for this decisive journey to Jerusalem. And that was an important principle for the disciples to remember in the years to come. When they went on their missionary journeys around the world, they needed to know that the Lord had gone ahead of them. His Spirit had prepared the way. As they headed out in search of the donkey, the disciples had simply to trust their Master and have faith in Him. And sure enough, it worked out exactly as Jesus had promised. Whenever we set off to do God's work, it's just the same. As we go forward in obedience to Him, we'll find that He has prepared the way. At the moment, I'm working with a church on a new venture and we're facing lots of questions about the way in which it will work out. I need to keep reminding myself of this fundamental truth that Jesus has already prepared the way. It's significant that Jesus sent two disciples on this mission. He did the same in Mark chapter 6 when he sent out his 12 disciples two by two. This is an important and encouraging reminder that when the Lord sends us out, He doesn't send us out on a solitary journey, but one in which we have a relationship of support and shared faith. Let me pray with you. Lord God, help us to trust you and to listen carefully to you as we live for you each day. Amen. Thanks for listening. I'd love to encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. The talks are also available on podcast, which you can access at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. Do hope you have a great day.